bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Well, thank you for joining us. I grew up uh, with crayons and doing coloring books and that kind of thing, and the world has changed. Uh, I've noticed, and perhaps you have too. Uh, and Frank, there are companies and things called the Mouse Squad. You know, we used to catch the little critters, and now we apply it to technology. Uh, Jan Half is with us right now, and she is the director of the student tech program. Nice to have you here, Jan. Well, thank you. It has Leslie. changed, hasn't it? Yes, schools have changed. It has, it has changed in the school quite a bit. Now, tell me about this program. I mean, this, you go around the different schools in the Bay Area. Actually, Mouse Squad is a nonprofit that has an online curriculum and hands-on activities. And the idea is that students at various schools in the Bay Area and even outside of the Bay mm -hmm. Area learn how to troubleshoot the technology at their schools, yeah. whether it be computers or printers or interactive whiteboards. They use the curriculum, the hands-on activities, and then they actually set up a student help desk. Well, you know what? I've, from my experience with my own children is they know everything already. I mean, they are the quickest learners uh, in, in all the technology. It doesn't matter what it is, they know how to do it. You find this to be true in the schools in general? They're quick learners, they know about it? Students are very quick learners, and we find that with this curriculum, it just structures their learning a little bit more, and mm -hmm. that way it also links back into the California curriculum standards and the teachers and the administrators like that. Yeah. So they're learning the hardware, the software, and other technical skills, but in addition, they're learning how to communicate, how to troubleshoot, how to problem solve, and how to be leaders of their school. Uh -huh. So even though they are quick learners with technology, it's really putting it to practical application. Yeah. Yeah, you still have to live in the human world. Yes. Yeah, yes. you have to know how to do that. And that's, you know, that's, that's a good point you bring up, though, because of people who are totally into technology sometimes are lacking in just skills and one on one skills or communicating without that technology. Do you find that to be true, or am I just being an old codger? No, no we, we have found that to be true, and that's one of the things that many of our corporate partners say they like about our program, is that it not only teaches them the technology, but it gives the students the experience of communicating with each other, with adults, mm -hmm. and really having some key experiences that they might not have had otherwise. Okay, specifically then, uh, uh, when you some of your squad goes into a middle school somewhere, for example, what happens? Well, actually what happens is the middle school will choose a teacher, either an after-school instructor or perhaps a computer lab teacher, and they will actually teach the students either as part of a class or in the after-school setting, and they will, they will use the online curriculum as well as computer in a box and other hands-on activities and actually teach the students. There might be anywhere from 5 to 25 students in that class or in that squad. Uh -huh. And then once the students actually become Mouse Squad certified, right. they, will have a, they will have a help desk. And when teachers or the principal or anybody has problems with, like I said, the computer or the interactive whiteboard or the printer, then the students will be called out and actually help to troubleshoot that problem. And it's called just-in-time troubleshooting because they're right there. And they do first-level diagnostics. It's not things that are real complicated that are going to take away jobs from right, the paying right. people. Okay. So that's the yeah. scenario. But every parent who's a little bit older is glad to have their child know how to fix their cell phone or their computer or their printer or whatever it is. So it, it has practical applications, you know, that knowledge spreads you know, in every direction. It absolutely does. So many of these students can do these kinds of activities at home also if they have the technology. Uh -huh. Now, some of our schools, the students may not have the technology at home, yeah. but at least they can well, use more, the experience it, 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 at I school. I think the good thing is more and more people do have that, okay? Uh, nice to have you here, Jan. Uh, Jan Haff's been our guest. Uh, she is the director of the uh, Mouse Squad. Uh, <laughs> and uh, thank you very much for watching. And if your child knows more than you do, you just have to live with it. I know I do. All right. Thanks Th for being here. And thank you very much.